One of the most powerful tools that you have as an online business owner is email. The way you do email marketing can make or break your business. And a lot of people focus on just getting as many people on your list as possible. And while that's a worthwhile goal, and we'll talk about growing your list in future videos, a lot of people fail to understand the power that email can have in automating your sales process. In this video, I'm going to talk about a simple way to use Kajabi to build an email sequence so that you have people opting into your list because you've provided incredible value. You've offered a compelling lead magnet. So when they opt in, they get that lead magnet. And then what happens? We're going to talk about the sequence of emails that follows, how to set it up, how to use those emails to offer your course or your product or whatever other offer that you have in your online business. This is day 13 of Crush It on Kajabi in 90 days. We're doing 90 straight days of videos all about your online business and how to use Kajabi to build and grow it. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please do so you don't miss any of these videos. And if you are going to jump into Kajabi, be sure to use my link, lanesebring.com slash Kajabi. You get two really compelling perks. One is a 45 minute Zoom call with me where we're gonna talk about your online business. We're gonna talk about how to get set up on Kajabi. I'm gonna answer any questions you have about the platform and make sure that you've got a great foundation to get going on. And the second thing you're gonna get is my $25,000 course launch email template, which are the exact emails and email strategy that I used to launch my first course, which made over $25,000 in the first three launches on Kajabi. So I wanna give you those two things as a way of saying thank you for using my link because that is an affiliate link, so I do get a small commission when you use it, but I'm happy to recommend Kajabi anyway because it's such an amazing tool and has made my life so much easier as an online business owner. Now, as we dig into this today, one thing that you wanna make sure to do is go back and watch the previous videos in this series and particularly the ones about setting up a lead magnet, building a lead magnet, setting up a lead magnet landing page, and then setting up your email list. Those were all previous videos in this series and so if you just watch through the playlist, you'll see those. In this video, I'm gonna talk about what happens after that person subscribes to your email list by getting the lead magnet. The first thing that happens is they're going to receive the lead magnet and then you're gonna put them through an automated sequence of emails. So I'm on my Kajabi and my email campaigns. So I wanna show you an example of one of these. So there is a lead magnet that I've showed you before and it's my 21 day guide to creating killer sermons. So this is the landing page that I send people to, preachingdonkey.com slash 21 days. They put in their name, put in their email, and, it's, and they put send me the guide. So from there, what happens is they are sent a series of emails that I've pre-written. So this one, PD, that's Preaching Donkey, 21 days to the Killer Sermons Academy offer. That is what I have called it internally. Nobody actually sees that title except for me. And this subscribes them to a series of emails over the course of about 10 days. The very first thing that happens is, is there's a subscribe trigger, and that is when the form is submitted, the 21 day guide form, they are uh, subscribed to this email list. Now we talked about forms when we talked about landing pages. This is a form and it's the 21 day guide form. Again, if you go back to the landing pages video, you'll be able to see all about that. Not complicated, forms are built right there. It was super easy to build a form. Basically, you just say name, email, and you name the form, and that tags and segments everybody who is put into that form, everybody who adds, who fills out that form. And then there are three unsubscribe triggers. If the offer is purchased, uh, the basic, the platinum, or the 20% off the platinum. I had done a promotion and I wanted to make sure that those triggers were in there. So basically, as someone is going through this sequence of emails, if they purchase my course, I do not want them to continue to receive emails buying the course. When they purchase the course, they're actually added to a new email sequence, which is a welcome sequence for the course itself, which we'll get to that in a future video down the line. But for our purposes here, what you're wanting to do is whatever the offer that you're selling, 
If you don't have a course, maybe the offer is coaching. Maybe it's a discovery call. And we'll talk about that in future videos as well. But maybe it's a way to get people into your system to kind of meet you. Maybe you offer a free 15 minute discovery call to see if they would like coaching. Maybe it is a different kind of program that you have. For me, before I had a course, it was my books. I used this exact sequence, but instead of pointing people to a course, I pointed people to my books. But once I got my course, that's what I did. So the first email is your 21 day guide and a bonus just to say thanks. So what I like to do is in this very first email, notice it says day zero. So I put that in there, day zero. That means immediately, like they fill out the form, they get this email right away. Your 21 day guide and a bonus just to say thanks. That's the subject and it's the internal title. So the first thing that they're gonna get is the 21 day guide. And this button is just a, it's just linked to the, the actual guide itself. So, and the way I did that is just by attaching it using this, this button. Also, I wanna hook you up with something else just becoming one of my subscribers. This is something that I learned from my business coach. You always want to over deliver in these emails. So I promised them the 21 day guide. What I actually wanna do is give them two things. So now I'm gonna give them the ultimate Bible study guide for message prep. So this is just another guide, it's another PDF that I didn't even tell them about that I'm gonna offer them in this email. Both of these are free. I've got some whitelisting. This is so that I can make sure that my emails aren't going to spam and junk folders. Whether people actually do that, I don't know, but it's it's worth mentioning just so you don't end up in the promotions tab on Gmail or spam or whatever. Uh, invite to subscribe on YouTube, Facebook, join the Facebook group and follow me on Twitter. So that is it. And then I just kind of put in this little PS. Tomorrow I'm gonna to tell you about a massively important preaching golden nugget I ignored for years, you don't wanna miss it. So that's the first email. So at this point, I have not asked anything of them. I've literally just given them what I told them I'm gonna give them, and I gave them a little more, and I said, hey, be looking out for tomorrow because I got something for you. So that's the first one. The second email is just an email where I kind of teach a little bit. I talk about an element of communication called tension and how I didn't understand tension when I first started preaching and communicating. And so this is just an email. There's nothing to click on, there's nothing to buy, it's just an email about building tension and it's just the purpose that it serves is merely to offer additional value. The next thing I do is I say me plus you. This is where in this email, I actually just introduce myself, kind of a little bit about my background, my history, my family, and then I just say, hey, tell me about yourself. And I mentioned that I actually read those personally. I get a lot of emails back from this email right here, and it's a very, very good know, like, and trust builder. We want people to know us, like us, and trust us, and this one is good for that. Plus, it gives me an insight into my community. Who are they? What are their struggles? What are in that email? I ask them to tell me something that they're struggling with in their preaching and something that is a goal of theirs in their preaching. Day three, five ways to overcome nerves. So this is just, a, again, another value add. At this point, they've gotten my guide and a value add, a bonus. Then they've gotten more value. Then I've introduced myself and I've gotten personal and asked them to get personal. Then they get more value. And then on day four, I make this claim, this email will make you a better preacher. In day four, day five, day six, day seven, this is where I'm shifting to offering them my course. So these emails are actually pulled from the emails that I would use to launch the course, but they're just meant to be in evergreen. And so uh, there's a lance, last chance and a courtesy, 18 hours left. And then the next, the following day, I give them, was it not the right fit? If it wasn't the right fit, then you can do a payment plan. So those emails are a way of taking someone from having just subscribed to my email list and I take them through a sequence. And so here's what's cool. What happens is, is that all day long, every single day, people are watching videos on my Preaching Donkey YouTube channel, for example. And they're hearing me say in those videos, hey, grab my 21 day guide. You can find it at preachingdonkey.com slash 21 days. So they go there, they put in their name and email, 
and then they get these things. Now, does everybody buy? Of course not. There is always going to be a small percentage of people who buy, which is why you want to get as many opt-ins as you can. You're gonna end up serving a lot of people, providing a lot of value for free to most people. And then there is a percentage of people who are gonna say, if this person is selling something, if they're offering something of value, if they're, man, I can take a course and get an end-to-end -end full system strategy for how to master this skill, I'm buying, I'm signing up, where do I insert my credit card? Because that is the trust that I've built, that's a credibility that I've built with those people. So an online business, it starts with the free content, you offer the lead magnet, and then you take them through the email sequence. Now there's a lot here, right? How do we sell the course? How do we build the course? When you click on these things, where does it take you? Checkout pages, landing pages, all that. We're gonna get into that. We got 90 days, okay, we're only on day 13. But for now, what I wanna do is I wanna encourage you to build an automated sequence. Even if it's not 10 emails over 11 days, maybe it's just three emails where you deliver the lead magnet that we've you've built, and then you do two days of maybe offering value, just more kind of nuggets of information, maybe something that you don't share publicly on your blog, but you're just giving it to your list because you wanna treat them really well because they've entrusted you and subscribed. And maybe you introduce yourself, maybe you link to Calendly where you have a few spots where you can do discovery calls, something like that, where you can continue to provide value and take people through a sequence. And on top of this, you're continuing to put out weekly content every week and you're emailing your list in perpetuity every week with more and more and more value. Not spamming them, offering them value. And there's a huge difference. But for today, make your first sequence. It's super easy. Remember, just go marketing, email campaigns, go to sequence, and you can just add as many new emails as you want when they go out how people are subscribed, all of that stuff. So in addition to that, your next steps are to go ahead and try out Kajabi. If you haven't, lanesebring.com slash Kajabi. Be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of these videos. And let me know in the comments, what questions do you have about what we can explain better in future videos? I would love to hear from you down there. At this point, you can watch this playlist all about Kajabi and whether it's the right platform for you, or you can wait for the next video to pop up in this playlist.